Hi everyone, uh, and welcome to Alt VR. At this channel, we are showing you experimental alternative applications in virtual reality. Uh, applications that really try to utilize the novel power of VR to provide transformative experiences. Uh, and yeah, this can be everything from virtual worlds that are uh, trying to change your life uh, to small applications that just show you some interesting illusions um, that may, yeah, help us to explore what the medium of VR is capable of. So what unites the focus of this channel is that we are interested in the capability of VR to provide transformative experiences in terms of altering our consciousness. Now, in this episode, we will review an application for the Oculus Quest. Uh, that is called T for God, um, and it's available for free at SideQuest, uh, which is a sort of alternative to the Oculus Store. Uh, and yeah, this lets you sideload APK files uh, to your Quest. And basically, if you haven't heard of SideQuest and you own an Oculus Quest, you're really missing out. You should really check out uh, the stuff that's being released there, which is not available through the Oculus Store. Uh, now, T for God is one of these great applications which you can find there, uh, which really opens up a new way of designing for VR applications. In my opinion, T for God is one of the applications that uh, really open up a new way of designing for VR applications, which I think we will see more of in the future, and it will be clear soon why. Because what is special about T for God is that navigation is only done by real walking. And of course, this can be done in any VR application, but we have a limited space, right? Uh, when we are interacting with a system like this. Uh, so in Tifuga, there is no locomotion or um, in terms of teleportation whatsoever. And luckily, you don't have to have a football field uh, to interact with the application. What is special about T for God is that it sort of tricks you or forces you to reuse your play space uh, in an interesting way. So that while it may feel that you have total freedom of movement and can go wherever you want, walking for several minutes, it's all been inside your actual play space or your apartment. Basically, you're being guided round and round, back and forward inside your own play space and the levels are procedurally generated uh, and adapted to your uh, physical play space. So how it does this uh, illusion in a way is through various approaches, but one of the elements that contribute to it, this is its utilization of sort of non-Euclidean uh, geometry-ish at least, but perhaps more precisely is it that it's geometrical organizations of the space which are physically impossible. Uh, it's not possible to recreate this physically, only virtually. So yeah, this will be more clear when we watch this video and it's time to give you guys a preview. So the way I've organized this is that I'm first showing you about two minutes of the gameplay uh, just from inside the virtual environment. And then I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison uh, where you can see both how it is perceived inside the virtual environment, but also where my physical play space is around me so you can see how it utilizes this. Yeah, so enjoy.
All right, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, check it out on SideQuest. I'm sure there are some options there to support the developer as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please take time to subscribe to the channel. This will help us to grow and show you more exciting, alternative, experimental uses of VR. Thanks.